the Charleston County School of the Arts in North Charleston and we are here for Composition and Critique which is a program written by Dr. James Braunreuther, the Fine Arts Coordinator for Charleston County Schools and this program is a result of the partnership that the symphony has with the school system in conjunction with the Kennedy Center in Washington DC. The symphony hired three composers they went to each school, they were assigned one school, and they led the students through, you know, through the book, through deciding what the different moods were, and they composed music mainly to represent the characters and the major events in the book. And then ran ideas by the students, like, do you think this part should sound scary, should sound soft, loud, what instruments should be used? And then um, the composers kind of compiled those ideas and actually wrote them. I wanted students to look at it from a different perspective so that they got to read this great story and then they created those motifs and came up with those ideas working with some great composers they got to organize those ideas together and see the work that's involved in it because it's more about the process than it is about how good the final product is you know obviously we want a great final product but you don't get there without really working through each piece of that process I think it's really unique because they're the ones that are developing the ideas when there's, there's nothing there. And they have the story and they have to try to enhance the story with the music. So they're not only learning about music, but they're also um, keyed into you know, the author and like actual writing composition. It's not just arts enhancement, they're really learning um, music and writing, reading, composition at the same time. We're so fortunate to have world-class musicians right here at our doorstep. The Charleston Symphony Orchestra, the partnership that they've had with the Charleston County School District and, and many of the county's school districts has been tremendous. They give such a great wealth of, of talent, their time, their expertise. And so, you know, I just thought to capture that in a program like this would be a great asset for our students and you can see they were excited and the musicians had a lot of fun and got to, you know, I think sometimes it's always good for us to go back and see things through the eyes of a child because that creativity and imagination is just really alive then. I came up with most ideas by like what mood the words of the story set then I, um, we basically came up with a, the pitch of the music to set that kind of mood. I hope that the teachers in the schools that were not involved in this hear about it and say, gosh, I want that opportunity for my kids. I hope that the music teachers that were involved with this go out and say, wow, what a great experience this was to be involved in this. I hope that the symphony musicians talk about, gosh, you know, we can't wait to do this again with a, with a whole other book, a whole other group of students. And I hope that people who donate and support the symphony sit there and go, this is exactly the kind of opportunities that we want to support and donate to and see the symphony involved with. I would consider some of it, just consider parts of it trial and error. We would just see what worked, what fit, what most kids thought, eh, horrible, let's just trash it. What's the good thing? Oh, let's take that. How many people here after doing this today want to do some more composition. How many people think they'll grow up to be a great musical composer? It's important for students because creativity and innovation and imagination are the things that spur students. I, and I learned a long time ago that students will learn anything they want to learn and it's the want to. If you can get them to want to do something, they'll spend countless hours working at it and perfecting it and getting great at it. If you get them hungry and passionate about doing something and they're asking for more information, being a teacher, that's what you live for. <laughs>